I've got this list of 1,000 contacts with everyone's first name, last name, company name, job title, industry, and website, but I needed to find a work emails for my cold outreach. So I've used one of the best email finding tool available to find over 90% of my contacts' work emails, including verified emails as well. So if you're looking to find your contacts' work emails as well, stick around. I'm going to show you how you can do that in a very simple way. Simply go to scalist.com. As you can see, Scalist is one of the most reliable B2B emails and mobile number finding tool available, you can test it out for finding emails just on the website right away. If you have the full name of the person, their website, just give it a go. Or you can create a free trial uh, that will give you a certain amount of credits to find your contacts emails. As soon as you log into Scalist, you'll see this section called Enrich Contacts on the left hand side here as well, that allows you to find the email or phone number of a single contact or you can do a bulk processing with a CSV file. So in our case, we have a CSV file. It's very simple. Just download it as a CSV. You can go back to it as a spreadsheet, click on CSV. OK, it's going to download it here. And then when I go back to scale list, I just click on find contacts in bulk. I can upload the file, just you know, drag and drop easily. It will let me select also the columns. So first name, just making sure that everything's correct. Last name, company name, job title, industry, website. OK, that's good. I can validate the columns. And it also tells me how much it costs per email. So here in this case, it's one credit per email found. If no email is found, it's not going to cost you any credits. And currently for phone numbers, it is 20 credits. It also tells me that I need minimum first name, last name, company website, which is the best, or company name to be able to find the emails. So here I can uh, rename the, the file. I'm going to call it uh, no email at this stage list. That's fine. This is toggled on already. Um, I can upload it without uh, finding emails, but I can still find emails once I've uploaded it. I can also select the get mobile numbers if I need both the contact details. In this case, we only need the emails. So I'm going to click on import leads. And now it's starting the import. As you can see, there's a loading bar. So it tells me how it goes. It's going to take a few minutes until uh, it's done. So I'm going to pause the video now and I'll show you the results when it's finished. And here you go. My import is complete and it found also 967 emails out of the thousand contacts that I've sent, which is a pretty high number at this stage. It has verified those emails to tell me that 944 of them are valid. So these are safe to use. And 23 of them are risky. Risky emails are simply emails that are unverifiable. So we just let you know that they may bounce if you use them, but they also could potentially work. It's just that they are unverifiable. Now I've got my list. I can push it to my CRM. Uh, if I integrate it, for example, with HubSpot, I can export the CSV again. And I can also search for phones for anyone that I want. I can do that for everybody. If I select the entire list or just simple leads here. Very easy to go. So after downloading my CSV again, this is how my list looks like now. We came from no emails at all. So to the same list with everybody's work emails and the verification status of those work emails. And now if you're looking to export your LinkedIn contacts into a spreadsheet and then find their email addresses, I left this video here that will allow you to do that in a simple, magical way. So over to you and happy scaling.